My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a high school student who is not involved in any relationships. I tried to read Rene Descartes once, but the more I read, the more I thought he was just a weirdo. In my class, there is a goddess of love who is the opposite of me. I found a nice restaurant the other day. Want to go to karaoke sometime? I organized a notebook for the test. Do you want me to teach you after school? I don't know. I've been invited by one of the guys from upper class. Her name is Tomoka Hanazono. She's my classmate and the most popular girl in school. Go out with me! No, with me! I think I'll spend some time with the guy who bought me Cafe Ole. Get out of the way! I'll get it! You can't beat me! I used to be on the track team! You wanna give it a shot? I used to be on the soccer team! Used to be? Good luck, everyone! A number of guys have confessed their feelings to her, but have been rejected. And yet, she seems to be gaining more and more fans every day. Maybe that's what they call a femme fatale. Hey, Tanaka! Hey! Tanaka? Hey! Oh, are you calling me? I'm sorry, it's just a common name, so I thought you were calling someone else. Is there such a misunderstanding in school? Um, actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about in private. So, could you come to the back of the school building after school? Why can't you say here? I bought some cafe au lait! See? I can't talk to you quietly. It's not easy being popular. Alright, I'll see you after school. I'll be waiting for you. Who's the fastest? Me! 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 But I'm not in the mood for cafe au lait anymore. You can drink it since you're all sweaty. I like that part of you too! I don't know what Tomoka Hanazono wants to tell me. She's the most popular girl in school! Oh, she's back! How did it go? I asked him to come to the back of the school building after school. I think he'll come, definitely. I guess he's really nervous now. So, what are you going to do if he says yes? Of course, I tell the truth right away. I don't intend to go out with him at all. It's a punishment game, so you can't run away. I can't believe that you, who is always so strong, lost 10 games in a row. There are rare days. Well, I guess it's the first time for him being confessed by a girl. If it's from me, he'll be happy even if it's a punishment game. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him the truth. Wow, you're bitchy. That's really funny! I'll take a video of it. Make sure you capture the part where he bursts into tears. After school... Sorry, I guess I made you wait. So, what did you want to talk about? Actually... Uh, I like you! Please go out with me! Huh? <laughs> I knew you'd be surprised. I'm sure you must be feeling heavenly to have a confession of love from me, a popular girl. Come on, cry and be happy and say yes. I'm sorry, let's just be friends. Nah, actually, uh, what did you just say? Did you just say no? Well, maybe you didn't hear me right. I heard you say that you like me and you want me to go out with you. You heard me perfectly. Then why are you... Uh, are you not interested in love at all? No, it's not like that. Then why? You know, I'm quite popular. Does the fact that everyone likes you have anything to do whether I like you or not? No, but... you know... Don't you want to give it a try? I think honesty is also sincerity, so I'll tell you, you're not my type. No way! I just said no because I don't like her, but apparently, it was more of a shock than I expected at school. Hey, 
Did you really turn down Miss Hanazono's confession? Why did you do that? How did you make her fall in love with you? I really don't know how. I didn't do anything in particular. Oh my god! Oh my god! But it's Tomoka Hanazono! You didn't have to say no. What a waste! I'm not interested. I don't understand why everyone wants to go out with her just because she's popular. I don't understand. What are you interested in then? Bread and circuses? You're like an ancient Roman. On the other hand, the girls who don't like Miss Hanazono were getting excited about that I dumped her. No way! She's really funny. Her expression looks really funny. I think she's getting a little carried away. She's well deserved this time. You're right. Creating a group of fan is just too ridiculous. That gloomy guy! He's ruining my life! I'll make him fall in love with me so much he'll only see me! Then I'll dump him so hard he'll never get over with me! The next day at lunchtime. Tanaka! Won't you eat lunch with me today? What's going on all of a sudden? I made sandwiches. I want you to eat them. Did I just hear Tomoko Hanazono made a homemade lunch? Oh no! I've never even seen it before! I can't believe it's real! What are they talking about? What do they mean a non-existent home-cooked lunch? How about this reaction from the guys? My home-cooked lunch is just like you and me. Now you know what they're worth. Come on, eat up! Well, thank you. Bon appétit! I'll have it. Is it an egg sandwich? It's an egg sandwich! Is it a tomato sandwich? It's a tomato sandwich! Is it a fish cake sandwich? <clears throat> fish cake? Huh? We always put fish cakes in sandwiches. Is that weird? Thanks for the food. It was delicious. Oh, is that it? Oh, I should have said more about how it tasted. The fish cake sandwich was a better match than I thought it would be. No! You're supposed to be moved! If I were you, I was just about out of tears. I'm grateful, though. So, you mean that a true man of charm is unmoved by her lunch? I'm just glad you ate all of it. Can I make it and bring it to you again? Sure. That would be great. You look like you just appreciate the bento. Damn, I guess bento isn't enough to make him fall in love with me. Next! The next day. Tanaka, did you watch last night's anime? You have dark circles. <laughs> I watch all the episodes up to the latest one. What happened all of a sudden? I just remember that you said you watch it. I thought it would be nice to share the same topic with you. Thank you for doing that. But staying up late is poison to your body. You're getting dizzy. No, it's not a problem at all. Oh. Uh, uh. You fell asleep. She's trying so hard. It's really funny. She's helpless. Is she really that frustrated that there's one guy doesn't go for her? Maybe she's not happy about it. When she finds a good-looking guy, she intentionally makes him fall in love with her and then dump him. I wonder if she's aware that we don't like her. If she did, she wouldn't do that. That's true. I'm sure she'll regret it someday. Why does she do that kind of thing? Damn, I fell asleep. Ugh. No home-cooked food. No common topics of conversation. And the only thing he seems to be interested in is... Oh, right! I think he said he was interested in the circus. <laughs> okay, look, look! I've learned how to do juggling! No, the bread and circus is an ancient Roman parable about being satisfied with food and a little entertainment. Oh, 
So that's why the lunch you made was a sandwich? Oh, really? I've been practicing tightrope walking too. I think it's admirable that you dare to practice on your own. Hey, can I ask you something? What is it? Is it true that you intentionally make guys fall in love with you and then dump them one after another? I don't know who told you that, but how brave of you to say it to my face. I'm involved in this too. I apologize if it's wrong. No need to apologize. It's true. Why do you do that? Because it makes me realize that I have value. Do you ever feel the need to confirm your value? No, I don't. I'm not so desperate that I leave it to others to judge my value. Uh, I don't understand you. I'm kind of tired. I'm going home. It's getting a little dark. It's not safe. Should I walk you home? No, leave me alone for now. Okay. <laughs> Be careful! What is he? I feel like an idiot for doing such thing. But I know I'm an idiot. Hey! Oh, you're... from the next class. What do you want? You turned me down last month, but I still can't give up on you. Will you go out with me? I'm not in the mood for that right now. Don't be so irresponsible after you were so suggestive to me. I don't have any responsibility. Leave me alone. You're always taking advantage of guys. Then what? Are you going to attack me or something? What? You're playing around anyway, right? Why don't you let me play with you too? Oh no. I can't escape from this guy. Well, I guess I deserve it. Come on. Come here. Get off. I need to talk to her first. What? Tanaka? I was worried about you, so I followed you. But I guess I was right. What are you? Tomoka's stalker? I can't deny that I've been following her right now. But I don't want you to tell me that. We have something important to talk about! Get off here, you creep! Tanaka! I just... Run away from here! I'm fine! Ouch! I've taken self-defense as part of my compulsory education. It's no big deal against amateurs. Don't get smart with me, you geek! Do you think it's worth it to be liked by a guy like this? I don't think so. That's... You don't have to do this. You only need to know your own value. I don't need you to say... Now I know a little something about you two. You are hardworking, doer, competitive, and straightforward. I think you still have a lot of value, even if you don't take what others think of you in your mind. Really? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I knew that or not. Ouch! I won't do it again! Let go of me! I'll deal with this guy before I leave. Okay. Thanks for saving me. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I can't believe how happy I am to see him tomorrow. What's wrong with me? A few days later, word had spread from somewhere that I had fought off a stalker. I couldn't do anything when Miss Hanazona was in danger. But I'm glad she is safe. Thank you, Tanaka. Thank you so much. I just happened to be there. Tanaka, I want to ask you something. Can you come to the back of the school building after school? Sure, I'll see you after school. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Could it be? What? Are you still playing the punishment game? Don't play with those introverts so much. Why are you getting so serious about it? Because I'm serious. Huh? Uh, okay. Don't you think she's changed? Does she really like that guy? The real confession makes me nervous. I wonder if the people who have confessed their feelings to me have been like that. I don't know if I'm allowed to confess my true feelings to Tanaka with that past. Still, I made my decision. I'll tell him first. If I'm not forgiven, then I'll think about it. 
Sorry. I guess I made you wait. What did you want to talk about? Tanaka, I actually... My name is Yuki Hiragi. I'm an ordinary high school freshman at a public high school. It's been a short time since I entered the school, but I'm enjoying my school life with my good friends. So, yesterday, Sato did. Ha <laughs> That's insane! Hey, look! She's Mika Akasaka! Isn't she a former woman gang leader? I wonder why she comes to school normally. She has bad look in her eyes. They say the people she hangs out with are really bad people. Let's not get involved with her. Hey, hey, don't freak out that much. What? Of course we're freaking out. A guy from the same middle school told me that anyone who disobeyed her was beaten up and sent to the hospital. Yeah, but you didn't see that with your eyes, right? I'm going to go talk to her for a minute. Hey! Hi, Akasaki. Do you want to join me for lunch? No, I don't want to. Come on! Let me borrow this seat in front of you. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't give you permission. I was so hungry. And? Why were you late today? You're annoying. It's none of your business. It is. We're classmates. I just wanted to get to know you better since we're classmates. What? Don't you know what they say about me? Or do you know when you're saying that? Do you want to get beaten up? You'll get suspended if you do that here. Uh, anyway, don't talk to me. You have lots of other friends here. Go talk with them. I'm in the mood to eat with you today, Akasaki. If you don't like that, come on, just hit me. Huh? I ain't gonna do that. I don't want to get suspended for such a dumb thing. I get it. Then you'll have to talk to me. What is this guy? You piss me off. Oh, it's the bell. I'm going back to my seat. Huh? Get the hell out of here. Y Yuki, are you okay? Don't make it a big thing. I was totally fine. But I heard you guys talking about someone getting beaten up or something. She wouldn't do such a thing. Because it's already noon and she's already at school, isn't she? If I overslept, I'd give up and take the day off, if it were me. She must be a diligent person. Well, I don't think people are usually that late. <laughs> good point. Well, I'll be fine, just leave it to me. From then, I kept talking to Mika every day. People don't talk to her because they're afraid of her reputation of her being a former women gang leader. But I don't think she's such a bad person. She says he's going to beat the shit out of you, but she won't touch you or doesn't even try to go away from you. I started this relationship because I couldn't let it go, but I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. Hey, Akasaki! <sighs> Come on, don't talk to me in the morning. Well, well, don't say that. We're friends, aren't we? I mean, you haven't been late lately. What changed you? That has nothing to do with you. I didn't say it had anything to do with me. <sighs> Shut up! Get away from me! I don't need any friends. Oh, that's gangster. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. <sighs> oh, you're having lunchbox today, huh? You usually only have bread from the convenience store, right? Well, sort of. Why are you hiding that? I mean, I thought you were using a very cute bag. Akasaki, you look a little strange today. What is it? That's why I didn't want to say it. I just happened to have some extra ingredients at home. It's just that this was all I had as a bag. Oh. Oh? Well, bread every day is boring, isn't it? And, well, are you having lunch with me today? 
Hmm? What did you say? Nah, it's nothing. Look, you have to go, right? You'll be late. Didn't think I'd hear that from you. Lunch break after the morning classes. Yes, it's finally lunch! I'm so hungry. Yuki, we promised to go to the cafeteria together today, right? It's gonna be crowded, so let's hurry! Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go. Um... Today... Today? Hmm? Oh, sorry about that. I was going to eat with my friends today. Did you want to eat with me? No, of course not! It's the same, with or without you. <laughs> right. I woke up so early and made lunch. I made too much, and I don't think I'll be able to finish it. It's been a long time since I ate alone. Today's lunch is supposed to be better than usually, but it doesn't taste good. Before meeting him, this used to be normal. What the... I guess I liked my time with him a lot. But I'll never make friends anyway. Who would be friends with such an unsociable, foul-mouthed person? Ugh. I came to the restroom, but even if I go back to the classroom now, I'll be alone anyway. I'll just hang around. So, Yuki. What? How much longer are you going to hang out with Mika Akasaki? You'd better stop it for sure. Everyone is worried about you. Yuki, she's always losing her temper and it's not good. I don't think you should hang out with her. <laughs> well, it's not their fault they think so. Yuki has a lot of friends. It's better for him if he doesn't hang out with me. It's better not to talk to him anymore, even if he comes and talks to me. Hey, don't say that. What? Akasaki is a good person. She's not the kind of person you can talk about her like that. That she hangs out with bad people and stuff like that. It's all just rumors, isn't it? Don't say whatever you want without even trying to know her better. What's the matter, Yuki? All of a sudden... You'd get angry if your friend were being insulted, wouldn't you? <clears throat> well... I'm sorry. I may have said too much. Yeah, it's not good to talk behind someone's back. It's okay if you understand. I'm sorry for raising my voice too. What an idiot. What is he talking about? I'm a friend? Yuki is not my friend. Well, I didn't feel bad about it. It was lunchtime the next day when it happened. Yuki! Hmm? What's wrong? Um... Lunch! Well, I'll eat lunch with you. Wait, no. Would you want to eat with me? Oh, of course. But isn't this the first time Akasaki asked me? That was surprising. Well, my bad. It was sudden, wasn't it? I've always been like this. I'm not good at keeping my distance, or I tend to rush into things. I'm not very friendly, and I'm often misunderstood. So, before I knew it, I was treated as a gang member, and in junior high school, I was called the leader. Hey, wait a minute. Calm down. I understand. Or rather, I knew it in the first place. Akasaki's a good person with heart, just a little unsociable. Come on, let's just eat. Lunch break is short. Uh, right. Let's eat. You're so honest. I mean, what you said earlier. Rumors that you're a former woman gang leader. Is it true that people around you were just making rumors? See? I'm like this, right? I have bad look in my eye and a bad mouth. I once helped a girl who was being beaten from a student from a different school, and that's when the rumor started to spread. I've never been in a fight before, but I found myself being treated like the leader of the woman gang group. The normal girls were scared and ran away from me, 
and the bad ones were more like a gang member than a friend. <laughs> That's the Akasaki I know of. I'm sorry. I've been always alone. But you have friends now, right? That's... I mean, me. What? How can you say such an embarrassing thing? What? You thought I wasn't? That's sad. No, it's not like that. I'm not good at making friends or anything. I try my best to make friends, but I get nervous and become unsociable. I thought it was impossible to make friends in high school because everyone is afraid of me of the rumor. So, you know, I'm happy. I get it. So you want to be friends with everyone in your class then? Uh, well, yeah. I'm glad I got to hear you say that. Well, that's what she said, everyone. What? Everyone? Akasaki-san, sorry! I've been so wrong about you. I'm so sorry for all the weird gossips. I really am! Yuki told me. We didn't try to get to know more about you, Akasaki-san. I didn't know how nice you were. I'd like you to be your friend too. Me too! I want to be friends with you two. What? Everyone? Thank you. I want to ask you guys to be my friend too. If you like me like this, I'd be happy to be your friend. That was good. Yeah, it's a thanks to you, Yuki. And after school... Akasaki, since we're here, let's go home together. Uh, huh? Uh, seems like we're friends. Let's go home together. That's nice. Isn't Akasaki getting kind of clunky? Akasaki, you're so cute. So, Yuki, um, are you free this weekend? Huh? I think I'm free on Sunday. Okay, then we'll go somewhere. Uh, to have fun, because we're friends, right? You're so bad at asking. It's okay, we're friends, right? Okay, let's invite everyone and have some fun. Just you. What? I said this is a date. A date? Okay, so Akasaki wants to go on a date with me. Hey, don't repeat it. It's embarrassing. And call me Mika. Oh, Mika. I'm looking forward to Sunday. My friendship with Mika has just begun, but I have a feeling that I can become a deep friend with her. I'm sure dating a girl who is pure, kind, and a bit difficult to be honest with will be great fun. Come to think of it, this is the first time we'll see her outside of school. I wonder what kind of fashion sense she has. But I'm sure Mika will look cute no matter what she wears. That's why I'm going to tell her she looks good the instant I see her. That is me, an elementary school student, Yuto Tanaka was being raised by a housekeeper instead of his busy parents. Mr. Yuto, the most important thing to survive in this harsh world is power. As long as you have power, you can solve almost anything. The housekeeper, Reina Oniyama, is a former military soldier, the strongest mercenary who has been in many foreign battlefields. She used to often say that I needed to become strong. And to become a strong person, Reina trained me thoroughly. I honestly don't know how powerful I am, but I felt that I was getting stronger day by day. Mr. Yuto, you've worked so hard until today. I'm a little sad to see you go, but my role ends here. I put in all the skills I have. Now you should be good enough anywhere you go. This is where my new life begins. I was so excited thinking that, but... To my surprise, the junior high school I entered was one of the worst schools in my hometown. It looks obviously unsafe. Well, I can handle it. And then... Here, go buy some juice. In one minute, okay? I'll beat you up if you can't. One minute? I can do that. Even if I run as fast as I can, it'll still take me a minute each way. 
Hey, are you talking back to us? Looks like you need to be pounded on for you to understand. Hey, you want me to buy it for you? Huh? Who the hell are you? Acting like you have some kind of sense of justice. Well, that's fine. But if you say you're going instead of him, you have 30 seconds. If you don't come back in 30 seconds, we'll beat you up. You can run away if you want, then we'll just beat him up instead. What? You're going to give me 30 seconds? You're much nicer than you look. Okay. That's absurd. You don't have to go that for me. I... No problem at all. Come on, are you serious? I'm going to time you properly. You're just going to abandon this poor guy, aren't you? Well, that is also a funny way the story goes. There's no merit in saving this guy anyway. You ready? Ready? Go! And I ran to the vending machine and came back. Here you go. What? What the f- You came back in less than 10 seconds! That's impossible! This guy is inhuman! Well, Reina-san, challenge me to do even more hard things. Thank you so much! You helped me a lot! Don't worry about it. I've been taught to help those in need. Even after that, I tried to go to talk to any students who was in trouble. It's a school life. Everyone should have a good time after all. For example, helping a student who was being mugged. Come on, give me all your money! I don't have any money! Of course you have money! Are you kidding me? Hurry up or I'll hurt you! Hey, stop it! What the hell? Mind your own business! Such a hot-tempered guy. Sorry if I can't go easy on you. Ugh. Damn, what the hell is this guy? He's so strong! Thanks! Thanks for saving me! And also, I made delinquent students who were disrupting the class shut up. Hey, you guys! We're in class, so be a little quieter! What? What did you say? I can't hear you. Nobody's listening to you. <laughs> Some of us are taking the class seriously. Can you please be quiet? What? What's up with you? If you're going to go up against us, you better be prepared. You're the ones who are ready to fight, am I correct? Once you raised your fist, you can't stop it. What happens next? Well, you know the drill. I know I took some aggressive measures, but the delinquents in our junior high school basically don't listen to anyone, so I couldn't stop it. At the same time, I was also looked at as a weirdo. I continued to do all these things, and before I knew it, I gained trust from my classmates. Since Yuda's arrival, our school is in peace, isn't it? Yeah, he's been a big help, but he does something different, isn't he? Yeah, the other day. Hey, what are you eating? Is that good? Huh? Oh, this? It's field ration. Isn't that what soldiers eat? Yeah, you want to try some? What the hell is this? Normal lunch tastes way better. It's to quickly feed yourself up with nutritious. And also, this has all the nutritious needed for you. Why do you need it? You're not even a soldier. I also saw the other day. Hey, what are you doing, Yuto? I'm doing wall sits. I can see that, but isn't it exhausting? No problem to me, it's a daily routine. Besides, if I can train during class, it's kill two birds with one stone, right? You want to give it a try too? Um, no, I'll pass on that one. Yeah, he's quite a weird guy. But you can count on him. Yeah, but I wonder if he's okay. If he stands out too much, those guys won't shut up about him. And so it goes. One day, when he was enjoying his school life, you are getting too carried away these days, aren't you? If you want to stay safe, I suggest you don't do anything that will make me uncomfortable. Who the hell are you? What? You don't know me? This me? That is Misaki Akabani. She is the girl leader of this class. Akabani's brother is the leader of this school, so if you go against her, her brother will beat you up. That is why no one can get go against Akabani. I see. That's right. So, what happens if you go against me? Even you, with your lack of brains, can understand that. Nah, I don't get it. Hmm, okay. It seems like you're going to behave like that. Did you get things mixed up because you're a little strong? Doesn't matter to me if you regret it. Hey, hey, Yuto! The Akabani siblings are not a good idea. You should apologize before it's too late. That's right, if you're standing up for us, but that's also the reason why I don't want you to get hurt. 
No problem, it's not for you guys. I'm doing this because I want to. And a few days later, as expected or rather as declared, Misaki Akabane's brother, Ryugo Akabane, came to visit me. Are you Yudo Tanaga? I heard you've been getting carried away lately so I wondered what kind of a guy you were. But look at yourself, you look so miserable. What do you want from me? Haha, <laughs> I've heard you are a fool but it seems you don't even know how to talk to your seniors. I'll be happy to be your mentor. And you have to think about how you're going to be behave yourself once you see the pain that is coming. Okay. <laughs> this is all your fault. This is what happens when you disobey me. My brother's going to beat you up. Shame on you. Hey, hey, this isn't going well. But maybe if it's you, though. Do you seriously think you can beat me? I have a martial arts experience, but you don't, do you? Yeah, I don't. But if I had to say, I have military training. What? Well, never mind. I'll finish you off with a single blow. With a single blow? What? What? With one hand? Are you kidding me? Sorry, but it's real. Now let me go over here. <laughs> Learn from this, and you'd better behave better. Hooray! Thank Tanaka, he's done it! Yugo Akabane, I can't believe he beat him so easily! I can't believe it, what's with that strength? I can't believe he beat my brother, but maybe he's kind of attractive. Then, our school became more peaceful after beating Ryugo. It became more peaceful, but there came a different problem I encountered. Hey Yuto, I made lunch for you. Would you like to join me? I'm actually a good cook. I don't know why, but Misaki, Ryugo's sister, seems to really like me. She should have every reason to hate me and not have any reason to like me. But, hey, looks like Misaki really changed. <laughs> but it's good that we are all at peace now. There's a new cafe right in front of the train station. Let's go there together after. Um, or do you want a place where we can be alone? What, what? Things going too fast. I can keep up with all that. Don't worry about the small things. Love is supposed to run in a hurry. And one more thing to worry about. No, two. Yuto, I completely lost to you the other day. You're the one who deserved to be the leader of this school. What? I'm sure that. I can trust you to lead this school. Wait a minute. I'm not interested in that stuff. Well, I like this kind of things where you pass on your feelings to your juniors. Hey you, siblings don't listen to people at all, don't you? And also, the delinquent students came to me to saying they want to be trained. I'll do anything for you, Yuto. I'll even request by getting down on my knees or go buy stuff for you. So please, please train us. I'll go with you, Yuto, for the rest of my life. Ah, <sighs> how did this happen? But if someone else become a leader, maybe more people will show up to do bad things and they'll be even more troublesome. Okay, from today on, I'll be the leader. But you have to do what I say. Yes, of course! He's our new leader! Long live Mr. Yudo! Thank you so much! I'll be close to your side for the rest of my life! If Yudo's our new leader, we'll be safe too! Yeah, we can trust him! Congratulations, Yuto! If there's anything I can do, just let me know! I'll do anything for you, Yuto! Um, okay. This is how I became the leader of this school. It's some work, but recently I'm thinking that it's not so bad. It's not the school life I had imagined, but being loved by everyone, I'm having a meaningful school life. I'm a working man. Yuto Tanaka is a former best martial artist. I say former because I retired just the other day. No, martial artist really isn't the job you want to do for a long time. It's dangerous and the income is not stable. I'm Yuto Tanaka, and I'm looking forward to work with you from today. Nice to meet you all! I had a new job as a security guard. Well, I'm glad you're here. No one wants to join a security company. I'll have you out in the site right away. Hey, new guy! I've seen your CV! No work experience, really? You've been a bum for years after graduating from high school? Yeah, <laughs> I guess being a martial artist doesn't really count as work experience. Today, I'm working as a security for a TV station. Don't just go home because you were a bum. Yes, I'll do my best. 
Well, this is a TV station. It's kind of exciting. Hey, new guy. Don't get carried away. Don't let a single ant enter the filming site down the road. And there's someone there just as I said. Hey, you. Not qualified people aren't allowed here. Get the hell out. Misaki Fuyutsuki is here today, isn't she? Don't be stingy. Let me see her. Ugh. He's so strong because he's so big. Is he? I think he's not that strong. What are you talking about? Oops, I've got work to do. Excuse me, can you please leave? You're persistent! I'm going to beat the shit out of you! That's... I don't think you can do it. Whoa! What did you get behind? Ugh! Okay, he fainted. Let's take him away while we still can. What did you just do? As you saw, I cut off the chi flowing through the human body with my hand sword. And then I... I made him temporarily unconscious. Huh? I don't know what you are talking about. You can do that? That's amazing! You weren't just a bum. Just a bum. Huh. <sighs> I guess today's security is almost over. I'm glad there was no noticeable disruption after that. Oh, there you are, Tanaka. Today's client called you. I wonder why she went to the trouble of calling only me. Maybe I get a bonus or something? Well, I've already taken down one intruder. I'd appreciate it if she did. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you, you Totanaka. Thank you for coming. This is Misaki Fuyutsuki, who was filming a drama at today's site. What? Misaki Fuyutsuki is that popular actress? I see. So you had a filming here today? Yes, I also saw you arrested the thug. Thanks to you, I was saved. Thank you very much. So, what can I do for you? If you can subdue even opponents bigger than you without difficulty, I thought I could continue to rely on you. Continue to rely on me? Yes, I have just made an offer to the company. In short, I would like to appoint you as my personal bodyguard. Me? Are you sure? I mean, I'm such new to this field. I mean, I wasn't employed until yesterday. You weren't really unemployed, were you? I can tell from your behavior. I can tell that you are no ordinary person. Tanaka, this offer is quite a big deal. It's also an achievement. If you accept it, it would be a great help to our company. Okay, I'll take it. If it's okay with me, by all means. I'll do my best to respond to Miss Misaki who said that much. Really? Thank you, Yuto. I'm looking forward to working with you from now on. Uh, so, Tanaka will be in charge of personal protection for Misaki Fuyutsugi from tomorrow. Seriously, I envy you, Tanaka. But seeing what you did today, I'm convinced. Please get Misaki's autograph, please. I started accompanying Miss Misaki as soon as the next day. Are you filming a movie and recording a TV show today? Until now, I haven't had anyone I could trust to be my bodyguard for the whole day. That's why I'm really reassured that you are here. It seems like there are fans who come to you when you're on the move, right? That's right. I'm glad that they like me and support me, but... It would be unfair if I only take care of that person, wouldn't it? Yes, that's true. Leave it to me to deal with all that. Even if there is a suspicious person, I won't let him lift a finger. Oh, thank you. I'm counting on you. Director, I'd like to discuss the acting plan for the next scene. I see. It certainly looks like the plan you've suggested is better. And about the scene we just shot, can we reshoot it as I think there is room for improvement? Yes, of course. Let's do it without compromise to make it a good film. She is amazing, Misaki. She doesn't just work hard as an actress. She takes every job and every fan seriously. She's a wonderful person. Misaki, I came to you today too! You'll shake my hand, right? Right? He's always waiting for me, but... 
He is bothering other people too. I'll take care of it. Hey, excuse me. What the hell are you doing? It's a rule that you only can shake hands at autograph sessions. You'll abide by it, won't you? Uh, okay. Oh, there she is! It's Misaki! Oh, there she is! It's Misaki! Give me your autograph, please! Give me your autograph, please! Whoa, that's a lot of fans. Another big crowd. She doesn't want to be surrounded by that many people. <laughs> looks like there's some kind of trouble. I'm going to sneak in here and... Brother, what are you doing now? Whoa, how fast! The rest of this area is off limits to everyone concerned. Why do you think I'm trying to... I know, because you look like a potential criminal. In order to survive in the fighting world, it's natural to be able to sense this. It's okay now, Misaki. Wow! That's amazing! Thank you for protecting me. No, as a bodyguard, it's only natural. Um, Miss Misaki, speaking of which, why did you choose me? I'm sure there were others who were more confident in their skills. And yet, you chose me with such a dubious background. Hmm... What can I say? When I saw you, I thought you had the same eyes as me. You were a person who takes everything so seriously that you sometimes overdo it. That's what attracted me to you. If you don't mind, can you tell me a story about your past? My past? I'm a little embarrassed, but okay. I used to be a martial artist. I spent my days fighting. Really? Yes. It did give me some good things, though, like being able to use my chi. I couldn't put it on my CV because it was an unusual job. <laughs> That's why you said you were unemployed. It gives me a bit of confidence that I could spot such an amazing person. I have to make sure I don't disappoint you. Then one day, an incident happened. What do you want from me calling me here? I have my next job. Get that grim look off your face. We are co-stars. Don't you think we should get to know each other better? What are you trying to say? There are advantages to being friends with the number one young handsome actor, me, Hayato Kisaragi. I could let you use my dad's connections to famous actors and stuff. No thanks. I have been and will continue to be on my own. Hey, what's with that attitude? You wouldn't have made it worse if you'd be nice to me. I guess I'll just have to make you understand. Hey, you guys, you can come out now. What's with those people? As you can see, we're just a little bit badass friends. I met them in the nightlife. It's disgusting that you use violence. <laughs> what are you talking about? Power is justice. No one can stand against me. You're the worst kind of guy for resenting someone for rejecting you. Mr. Yuto! What? Are you her bodyguard? If so, you're an idiot. Can't you see the difference in numbers? Difference in numbers? Is that still a thing? Ugh! You guys! What the hell did you do? I just fired a single punch with my chi in it. My chi doesn't seem to get through to you. So, you're a bit better than these guys. Yeah, that's right. He's not like those brats. He's a former boxing champ. He'll take you down. I see. You've got a good posture. But you're fighting the wrong guy. Ah! Ugh! I hope you find a good employer next time. I will never forgive you! Well, you're a small man to the end. Ms. Misaki, are you alright? Yes, thanks to your presence. Even in front of all those scary people, I felt safe knowing you were there. Um, if you don't mind, will you stay by my side from now on? Not just as a job, but also as my lover. What? Are you sure you want that? Yes, as long as it's okay with you. Besides, if I had a boyfriend, don't you think other people wouldn't hit on me? As a bodyguard, I think it makes sense. You're absolutely right. 
if you're happy with me like this, I'm more than happy to be your boyfriend. Great! Thank you. Um, aren't you too close? We're going to be lovers from now on, so it doesn't matter. Your embarrassed face is also cute! Until yesterday, she was my client. Now, she's my lover, and I vow to protect her by my side. My name is Yu Totonica. I'm a junior in high school and an introvert. The girl who is standing out in class is Ayaka Ayazato. As you can see, she's beautiful and popular in class. She's in the drama club and her acting ability isn't like that of a student. I heard she's been scouted too. She's a so-called out-of-league girl. The school festival is getting close. And we decided to do a play as a class. We're going to assign roles today. I'm going to play the female main character. Now, does anybody want to nominate themselves for the main character? If Ayaka is the female main character, maybe I should run for it. That's Takahashi, an extrovert, who just said that. He always says something condescending to me, so I don't like him, to be honest. Takahashi is nominating himself? When you heard we were doing a play, you looked like it was a pain. Because the main character of this play will be able to make out with Ayaka, right? I can't look over this chance because I'm after you. If that's the case, I want to be the main character too! Wait a minute! I'm the one who should be Ayazato's partner! You all have impure motives. Please be serious. I know, I know. By the way, what about you, Yuto? Aren't you going to run for it? Mm. Sorry, my bad. I forgot. You're an introvert. There's no way you can act. You might end up crying because people are going to laugh at your bad acting. Takahashi, that's so rude. Why do you always say things that make fun of other people? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You're satisfied now, right? Oh, man, I'm sorry, Tanaka. Oh, no, don't worry about me. Let's get back to the topic. We're aiming for the grand prize if we're going to do it. So, I'm going to have a person who can act to be the main character. There'll be no compromise. Now, I'm going to start the audition. If you've nominated yourself, get ready right away. And the audition started like this. But it was horrible, to be frank. You need to be serious or it won't even be an audition. Sorry, my bad. I'll do my best. They're not only reading the lines in a flat tone, but they're also sometimes laughing while acting. It was obvious that they were not motivated. So, Ayazato had no idea what to do. Man, I don't even see a bright future. At least if they were motivated, I could do something about it. I can't expect much from them. Oh yeah, what about you, Tanaka? Do you want to play the main character? What? D do you want me to be the main character? No way. That sounds like too much responsibility for me. Well, if you don't feel motivated, I'm not going to force you, but can you think about it? I've always wanted to see your acting. My acting? If you change your mind, or you don't want to speak up in front of everybody even though you want to try, here's my Rhine. <laughs> Message me anytime. After she said all that, she left, and Takahashi bumped his shoulder against me instead. Hey, just because Ayaka talked to you a little, don't think you're all that. I see. I guess he didn't like Ayazato and me talking. Listen, Ayaka will be mine sometime soon. Don't misunderstand just because she gave you her contact information. After that, I got away from Takahashi. And I was thinking about what Ayazato said for a long time. Main character, huh? I guess I'll try acting for the first time in a long time. Nobody is here, right? I got the script in my hand, and I secretly said the main character's lines in an empty classroom during recess. It's been a while, so I got too excited, and I was completely into it, even acting with gestures. Tanaka? Was it just... Oh! Ayazato! How long have you been here? Oops, I got into it too much. I didn't notice her at all. That acting was super amazing! I've been wondering, but... You must be Yuto Tanaka, the talented child actor. The name is the same, and you kind of look like him. So I was always curious and wondering about you. Oh, you know me? It was so many years ago when I was a child actor. I'll never 
forget. I started acting because I wanted to be like you. As a talented child actor. Former. I'm a former child actor. I mean, you're too close. Can you step back? Oops. S sorry I got too excited and... No, I was surprised that somebody actually remembered me. Did you say you wanted to see me act because you knew who I was? Th that's right. Sir, um, I thought I'd know if you were really him once I saw your acting. W why are you so polite all of a sudden? S somebody I've admired is right in front of me, and that's making me nervous. Let me take a deep breath. Um, well, it's not like I'm that great of a person. You don't have to be so humble. I mean, I'm humbled myself. What are you talking about? You're amazing! Everybody knows all the stories from back when you were a child. It's been so many years since you were a child actor. It's amazing that you can still act that much. Compared to your acting, I'm like nothing. I think your acting is a lot better than mine, though. I mean, you're close again, so please step back. I thought she'd get away from me now, but she brought her face closer and even held my hand instead. Tanaka, I have a favor to ask you. Will you please be the main character for the play that we're doing for the school festival? Uh, am I going to be the main character? But I'm not suited for this kind of stuff. Please, I'm serious. I'm serious about winning the grand prize. W why are you so particular about winning the grand prize so much? It's perfectly personal, but it's for my grandpa. He's been sick and he doesn't have much longer to live. He's always liked me being on stage and supported me. This is the least I can do for him. I want to show him the best stage possible for the last time. I got it. If that's the case, I'll accept the role of the main character. What? R really? I'm glad. But, um, don't you have some kind of reason for not wanting to do it? Yeah, I do. But I want to help you please your grandpa. S thank you, Tanaka. Uh, hey, um, uh, Aizato, if you give me a hug so suddenly... Oops, uh, I'm sorry, I just couldn't help it. I can't control myself when I get excited. N no well, I don't hate it. So, like this, I was chosen to be the main character by Ayazato. Of course, the guys who nominated themselves wouldn't stay quiet. Hey, hey, how come Yujo is the main character? If an introvert like him gets on the stage... People are going to laugh. Make me the main character instead. The reason why I chose Tanaka for the main character is because he's the best at acting. What kind of joke is that? There's no way such a guy can act. Following after Takahashi, other guys are complaining about me being the main character. Well, I guess it's better to show you rather than tell you. Tanaka, could you show them your acting now? Uh, oh, sure. Hey, what is he doing? Is it really Yuto? He looks like a completely different person. He looks like he's possessed with a character. When I acted upon Ayazato's request, everybody in class was at a loss, staring at me in wonder. Um, was this okay? Nobody's saying anything. Everybody is blown away by your acting. So, the main character is set now. It's Tanaka. There are no objections, right? When Ayazato made the decision, nobody raised an objection. After that, Ayazato and I practiced the play very hard up until the school festival. Aren't you tired? Let's take a little break. Uh, I'm okay. I can do more. We don't have much time until the school festival. What if you get injured by pushing yourself too much? There's no substitute for you. Well, if you insist, I guess I'll take a little break. That's better. Aren't you thirsty? If you'd like, I haven't opened this. Thank you. Um, actually, for a long time, I've been wondering about something. Can I ask you? Oh, was there a problem with me? If so, please feel free to tell me. No, that's not what it is. Why did you, uh, um, quit being a child actor? When you're practicing, you look like you're having a lot of fun. So, I thought you really liked acting. The reason why I quit, huh? I guess I got tired. I simply liked acting. But before I knew it, there was something more. 
the higher the expectations, the stronger the pressure. When I failed, people were disappointed. I got tired because the adults around me used me at their convenience. I see. I'm sorry I forced you without knowing your situation. If you're having a hard time... Don't apologize. I decided to do it on my own. Let's make this play a success for your grandpa also. Tanaka, thank you. I'll be sure to make it a success. We kept practicing hard like this. And on the day of the school festival, the audiences were full. And there were so many people at the gym. Tanaka, you look pale. Are you sick by any chance? N no I'm okay. I'm just feeling a little nervous. Even you get nervous? He looked confident at the audition. So I assumed you were relaxed. That's not true. There are a lot more people this time. And plus, this is the real deal. I haven't acted in front of so many people in so many years. So I'm such a coward inside. Don't worry, Tanaka. I'm here with you. We worked hard until today, so we'll be fine. Uh, Ayazato. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I held your hand suddenly. A anyway, believe in yourself because you've worked hard until today. Th thank you, Aizato. I don't feel nervous anymore, thanks to you. Th that's good. We still have time until our stage. I'll go get something to drink. Soon after that, we had the real stage. We all showed the fruit of our hard practice. And I think we were able to do a great job acting. And most importantly, the result was that our class won the grand prize at the school festival. I heard Ayazato's grandpa was very happy, so I'm really glad. After the school festival was finished, we held an after party. The play was successful thanks to you, and we were able to win the grand prize. Thank you so much! It wasn't just my ability, it was all because a lot of people cooperated, like those who made the props and costumes. Yes, you're right. But still, thank you. Hey, Yuto, just because you stood out a little, don't think you're all that, okay? Hey, Ayaka, leave this guy alone and come eat with me over there. Well, I've been thinking for a long time, but who do you think you are? Don't you realize that your violent attitude is causing trouble to other people? Tanaka has contributed the most for sure. Although he had his own practice, he still took care of other people's practice too. On the other hand, while everybody in class was working hard, you were just playing around without doing your own part. I'd never eat with somebody like that. Oh, okay. After this incident, Takahashi never messed with me anymore. A few days after the school festival, I was visiting the drama club. What is it all of a sudden? Why are you at the drama club? This is the application form to join. If it's okay, I'd like to join. What? Do you want to join us? Um... I'm embarrassed to say this, but as I did the play at the school festival, I remembered how fun acting was. I'd quit once before, but I wanted to try again one more time. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Of course, you are more than welcome. I hope we can work together for a long time. Like this, I decided to join the drama club, and eventually, I'll start dating Ayazato. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a company employee working for a securities company. My job is to guide new customers to open up new accounts, make presentations, and have them purchase financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. At our company, the person who gets the numbers is highly praised. Whoever cannot get the numbers gets cornered a lot. I don't want to hear you can't do it. You're supposed to say yes I can or yes I did it. Just to remind you, I'm not gonna accept anything else. By the way, my performance is just enough to get by. I always meet the minimum quota, but I'm far from being considered competent. All the other colleagues have graduated from prestigious universities, and I haven't. So, all my colleagues at the office make fun of me. But one day, they put me in charge of training a younger employee. I'm Azuza Minase. I'll be working at this office starting from today. I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you. She looked bright and beautiful. Got it. I look forward to working with you too. Oh, don't be so tense. We can take one day at a time. That's not good enough. I'm aiming to be the top person in the entire company. I need you to be strict with me. You're so fired up. 
I feel like I'm going to have a heartburn. Minase was very competent. The new employee is required to get 100 new accounts in a year. But it only took her six months to achieve that. All the employees at the office were so surprised. Miss Minase is amazing. I heard her sales is already up to 3 million yen. She's by far the best among all the people she started working with. She looks cute too. I'd love to be close to her. Oh, don't even. My colleague asked her out, but she said she didn't like people who are not as competent as she was and rejected him. Her type is somebody who's more competent than she is. Nobody can go out with her then. You did great. You've beaten me in no time. I don't have anything to teach you anymore as your trainer. No, not good enough. I need to become better. By the way, Mr. Tanaka, you're holding your bag. Are you going home already? Yeah, it's time to go home, so I'm leaving. Please, wait. Other people are still working. Plus, I don't mean to be rude, but you don't have the numbers. You should probably work harder. Well, I understand what you mean, but I've met the quota for this month. A new game is coming out today, so I need to go home quickly and play the game. Anyway, I gotta go. Have a good night. Oh! Wait a minute, please! What is he thinking? I don't feel any motivation from him. Tanaka doesn't get work done at all. When he goes outside for sales, he's often slacking off. It's famous at this office. He is a typical Deadwood employee. The university he graduated from is low level, so he got into this company only with luck. Huh. I played the video game too much last night. Man, I need you to straighten yourself up. We're going to meet our customer. I'm gonna hit you in the face if I miss this contract because of your carelessness. Haha, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the trainer, but you're training me instead. It's not funny. After meeting with a customer, as we were talking... <laughs> My performance is up again. Now, I'm at the top in the office. Mr. Tanaka, what did you think of how I did the sales? Let's see... To be honest, it wasn't good. What? I got the contract, though! I could clearly tell that you wanted to get your numbers up. You're thinking too much about yourself, not about the customer. You can get the contract now because of your looks, but your numbers are gonna suffer eventually. Mmm... You sound so bossy! Just to let you know, my performance is better than yours, you know. Please don't talk back to me when you don't have the numbers. I just answered your question. It's up to you if you take my advice or not. Man, I thought you were going to compliment me. Mr. Tanaka, you don't understand me at all. I'm gonna get more and more numbers and get your approval. Just wait and see. Minase was quietly fired up. However, despite her passion, her numbers stopped going up. I heard Minase's performance is the lowest. She was doing good at first, but what happened? If she stays like this, eventually she won't be able to meet the quota. Next month, she finally couldn't meet the quota. You must be slacking off recently. We don't need anybody who can't get results. If you do a bad job, you'll put more burden on other colleagues. I'm so sorry. I'll be sure to do better next month. However, in the following month, her numbers didn't grow as she hoped for. Dang! I can't get any contract! I was doing so good at first! What in the world happened? Why is that? What's wrong with how I'm doing sales? She seems to be cornered. She has so much pride. She might quit this company if things don't change. I got worried and talked to Miss Minase. Miss Minase, can I talk to you? It's not good to keep pushing so much, so do you want to go outside for a little bit? I guess she was feeling down. She just followed me without arguing back. Is this... a golf course? When I go outside for sales, I practice hitting golf balls here. It feels good when I make good shots. Um, well, did you come here to slack off? Then I gotta go back. Just hold on. I want you to meet somebody. Hi, Tanaka. Is this Miss Minase that you were talking about? Um, excuse me, but who is this? Well, let's see. I'm just a no-name old man who has too much free time. This is Mr. Kashiwagi. 
He is a president of a company. You've heard of Sprinkler Corporation, right? What? Sprinkler Corporation is a listed company. Mr. Tanaka, I didn't know you knew such a great president. We are golf friends. Tanaka is a very competent man. He always works hard to get new information and analyze them. And he always gives me fresh information. It's not just me, but a lot of big name people trust him. <laughs> you're talking too highly of me. You always teach me a lot about golf. And your name was Minase, right? I heard you're troubled because you can't get sales numbers. Well, since Tanaka asked, I'm gonna help you out. R really? Thank you so much! After we left the scene... The reason why you went to the golf course for outside sales was not to slack off. It was all to get trust from your customer. We have been entrusted with our precious money. It's important to study the stocks and economic trends, but first, we have to get our customers to open up to us. But, is that okay? Can I really use the connections you have built? You can probably get to the top in the company, not just at our office. I don't have any ambition to get to the top. It only gets tougher if expectations become too high. I get enough numbers so I won't get cornered, and I live a relaxed life. But, making the contract isn't the goal. You need to do your best for the customer's benefit in the future. If you fail, you're gonna make me look bad. Y yes I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna return the favor to you. Miss Minase's mindset has changed, and that showed in her results. Minase is top again this month. It's been three consecutive months now. She achieved one of the highest numbers in the company. I also feel proud as a manager. You all learn from Minase. Yeah! yeah. Amazing. Amazing! Minase has made her comeback. On the other hand, Mr. Tanaka isn't thriving. You're misunderstanding. Just to let you know, Mr. Tanaka is very competent. A lot more than I am. Mr. Tanaka, great work today! Hi there! You did great again this month. This is all thanks to you, Mr. Tanaka. I haven't done anything special. It's because you worked hard. But I'm frustrated. I want everybody to know how competent you are. You're actually a lot better than I am. It's okay. I don't want everybody to expect too much out of me. You really don't ask for much. I'm not sure if that's the right way to put it. I'm okay if you're okay, as long as I know that you're an amazing person. By the way, do you have time after this? What is it? Did you need to talk about work by any chance? I actually have a rule that I don't talk about work after working hours. No, it's not about work. I want to know you more, personally. It's my first time to meet someone I can respect. Wow, you sound so desperate. Even after that, she passionately asked me out. Giving into her passion, we started dating. When she gets stuck at work, she always comes to me for advice. She's now making the top numbers in the company. Nobody except us knows that a boring, introverted employee like me is actually supporting the most competent and beautiful employee in the company. I was always alone, but my popular face has finally come. Although I only seem to attract delinquent girls. <laughs> I fell in love with you. I want to know more about you, so let me be by your side. What led to this? Let me take a step back. Have you all been reported to the police just for walking down the streets? I have multiple times when I'd run into an elementary schooler walking home. There's a high chance that they'd call for help with their alarms. If there was a competition for how many times people have rang their alarms for help towards you, I think I'd win in a landslide. Although I don't need such an infamous award, why do I get reported by so many people? Simply, that's due to my face. People who see my face say the following, an ogre, the devil. Looks like the kind of face that could get me 3 million yen if I provide useful information to the right organization. Because of that, I, Yugo Samijima, have been avoided by people at school and was alone my whole life. I'm not an ogre or a devil. I've never even gotten in a physical fight with anybody. Sleep while hugging a stuffed bear and like cute things. I wasn't able to make a single friend at my old school, but I'm starting fresh at a new school today because of my parents' new job. This time, I'll make friends and we'll have a fun high school life. The first day of school when I was walking. Ah, help me! Hey, hey, take out your money already. 
You were our piggy bank, right? A quiet looking guy was being attacked by bad looking guys. I heard that this area wasn't the safest, but I guess the rumors are true. I don't want to be involved, but I can't leave someone who is trouble alone. I can't be helped. Hey, why don't you guys stop right there? If you try to do anything more, I call the police. What? what? What's up with you? Do you want to be hurt? Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> you want to get beat up too? So happy that we have another piggy bank. What? What's up with that evil looking face? It's definitely, definitely somebody. somebody! As soon as they looked at my face, the delinquents were afraid. We're sorry! They ran away. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, yes, thank you for saving me. Your face looks scary, but you are so cool. It feels good to do good things, but I guess this town really isn't safe. It's completely normal to people to be fighting on the streets and there are gang-like people on the road. I hope the school I'm going to, Suryu High School, is a bit more peaceful. It wasn't at all. It was worse. I got to the front of the class to introduce myself, but all I could see was a classroom full of delinquents. I wonder if I can live in this environment. Uh, hoping we can all be good friends. Glad to be here. Yay! I looked in the direction of the squeal and saw the delinquent from earlier today. It's him! The guy I saw this morning! What? That transfer student is the beast who defeated Masa with Joss's eyes? Masa's one of the strongest guys in our class and he was so scared. That transfer student really has it in him. Wow! He's surely a talent we haven't seen before! At this school, strength is justice! Everyone, let's follow that transfer student! If we do that, there will be peace in this classroom! Yeah! yeah. Samajima-san, please, please be, be good, good to us. us! What? They are looking up to me for some reason! Samijima-san, I bought you drinks! Samijima-san, are your shoulders sore? I can massage them! Uh, I'm okay! Thanks for looking out for me! Wow! He's, He's so humble! humble. Samajima-kun, look this way and let us see your evil face. You look unbelievably scary. It's out of this world so cool. Are they complimenting me? I feel like I'm being criticized. Hey, let's eat lunch together. I can feed you. After you finish eating, you can lie on my lap. I can clean your ears too. Both guys and girls are liking me. Someone said that strength was justice at this school. I'm sure people misunderstood that I'm strong because of my face. I can't believe that there's a world where this face would come in helpful. This high school life feels like a dream compared to before, when I was alone. But it's scary to think about when they find out that I'm not actually strong. Hey, are you the transfer student Samajima? Yeah. I'm Ana Tojo. I'm the head of this class. I heard you were strong. Is that true? I honestly have my doubts. Uh, she's suddenly doubting me. Head of the class? The super cute girl is the head of the class. You're asking me if I'm strong or not? That's not something I should say on my own. That's true. It's other people who determine if someone is strong. So how about you and I fight one-on-one? -on -one? What? That way it'll be clear. Also, you can run away from me. Oh my god! Samajima-san and Tojo are going to fight on the rooftop for the number one spot in class! Really? Tojo is also known for being a devilish princess. It's going to be tough for Samajima-san. Let's go check out who's going to win! The worst turn of events have taken place! A one-on-one -on -one fight! I've never even fought with anyone once in my life! Okay, shall we begin? Whoever surrenders loses! But it's against a girl! It might not be too bad! Hey -ya! What? She kicked the fence like that? <laughs> my kicks can even break concrete! C concrete There's no way I could win against her! After that, I just ran around trying to avoid her, but at the end, I got cornered to the wall. <laughs> you were running away, but I finally got you. It's over for you, but at least show me that you're gonna bite when you're in a pinch. Ugh, what should I do? If you're not going to do anything, that's fine too. I'll finish it up to you. As Tojo tried to end the fight, a delinquent tackled Anna. Ha! Huh? Tojo, be prepared! A guy jumped out from the crowd and tackled Tojo. <gasps> it was from a blind spot, so Tocho got the full blow. If that was it, she would've just fell towards the back. But behind her, there was an old fence which came off as she leaned on it. Tojo's body went away from the rooftop and was in the air. No! Someone help! The moment I saw her eyes fill in despair, I was jumping away from the rooftop too. Tojo, hold on to my hand! I got her hand in the air and hugged her. Samijima, why? I didn't know either. 
But when I saw her about to cry, I just couldn't leave her alone. We'll hit the ground soon. If we'll fall from this height, we wouldn't make it. When I prepared myself for the worst, there was a splash, and we fell into the pool. We were lucky and saved. After we got out of the pool, Tojo asked me, Hey, why did you save me? We were lucky to fall in the pool, but if it were asphalt, we surely wouldn't have been alive. Asphalt is like feathers to me. I'm not the type of guy to die from that. Of course, it was a lie. I just didn't want people to know that I actually wasn't strong. Hey, are you two okay? It seems like there was a guy from another class in the crowd, and he's the one who charged at you. We've caught him, so it's okay now. I lost. What? What did you say? I said I lost. I was completely defeated by you. I don't think I could win against a guy who would jump off the rooftop to save me. Also, I can't kick you anymore. I don't want to hurt someone I like. I see. You like... What? I like you, Hugo. When I fell from the rooftop, I also fell in love with you. From now on, I'll support you, Hugo, who's now the head of the class. Wow! It's the start of a new era! You're strong and also manly! That's so cool! Samajima-san, we'll support you forever! Hey, wait! I didn't say I'd become the head! Either way, rumors would spread fast that you beat me. From now on, people who want to go up their ranks would probably ask you to fight them. What? But it'll be okay if it's you, Hugo. I know you can beat them. You are, after all, the guy who won against me. Also, I'll be supporting you, so how about we rise up the top of the school together? No! It looks like I'll continue to stay popular with the delinquents as their head for a good while. I am Yuro Tanaka, a high school student. I'm a boring introvert. However, even I have one thing I'm proud of, that is cooking. My father is a famous chef, and I've been trained since I was small. During lunch break, my classmates gather around me and ask me to share some of my bento with them. Please, Yudo, I'd like some omelette today. No, no, give it to me. I'll pay you 1,000 yen. I want some fried chicken. Just a bite, please. Yummy. My mouth is watering so much. This isn't the quality of a bento. Isn't 1,000 yen too cheap? Should I pay 10,000 yen? Damn, this is so good. Give me one more. Just one more. I make my own bento every morning and my classmates praise the taste of my bento. I'm glad you all enjoy it, but I wish you guys left some for me. During another lunch break, I was heading to the courtyard. There is usually no one there. I feel bad for everybody, but I like to eat lunch at my own pace every once in a while. But then, there was somebody there already. That's, if I remember correctly, Natsukawa? Her name is Misaka Natsukawa. She's an extroverted, flashy girl in the next class. With good appearance and being kind to everybody, I heard she was popular in her class. How come you're eating lunch alone? Wow! Is that all you have for lunch? Uh, you surprised me. Um, did you... did you see it? Oh, yeah. I saw lots of bean sprouts. That's right. It's bean sprouts over bean sprouts, Bento. It's better than you think. Bean sprouts over bean sprouts, meaning just bean sprouts. But, but, but I feel full if I chew a lot. Oh no. Yeah, it's not what you think. It was thunder. It's super sunny though. Are you in a diet or something? I bet it's hard being a girl. <laughs> I wish it was for a diet. Our family is a little poor, so I have to keep the food bill low. I didn't want people to know that, so I eat my lunch here. Oh, I didn't mean to dampen the mood. It's our first time to meet. What am I saying? Sorry, don't worry about it. If you'd like, can you try some of my bento? What? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, really, don't worry about it. I might not look like it, but I'm training to be a chef. My food has a good reputation in my class. I made a lot today because that is what I usually do, but I'm by myself today, so I'd be happy if you could eat some. Does that mean you make your own bento? Wow, that's amazing! Wow, what's this? It looks so delicious. Uh, but, but I feel bad to take away such delicious looking food. How come? I'm asking you to have some. I got it. Then I'll take just one. S so good. Wow, what's this? What's this? It's super good. Is this really a bento? It's unbelievably good. This is like my first time to eat such delicious food. You're exaggerating, but thank you. No, 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 no. I'm not exaggerating anything. It's super good to say the least. Thank you so much. It was such a modest and heartwarming taste. Oh, 
Okay. After that, Natsukawa ended up eating my bento almost by herself. The image of Natsukawa happily eating bento was stuck in my head. You can eat a lot. Will you eat my bento again if I make it? Since then, I started making bento for Natsukawa and headed to the courtyard during lunch break. Wow! I can eat this again? Are you sure? I'm so happy that I'm not sure how to react. You're exaggerating again. Just like I said, I'm not exaggerating. I can't tell you 10% of how I really feel. Seriously, I'm glad I'm alive. Oh, I'm glad I made it if you're going to be this happy. It was worth my time and effort. Hey, Tanaka, I know I sound like I've got a lot of nerves after receiving bento every day, but I have a big favor to ask you. A favor? Yes. I actually have a younger brother and a younger sister. I want them to have the privilege of eating your homemade cooking. What do you think? That's not a problem. Really? Is that okay? Yippee! They'll be so happy for sure. You're close with your siblings. Yes. They're both good kids. I can't provide them with much, so I want them to enjoy something delicious every once in a while. So anyway, thank you so much, Tanaka. I see. I want them to be happy too. I'll do the best of my ability. Hey, Tanaka, I'll do a favor for you in return. It can be anything. Uh, anything? I always get bento from you, and on top of that, I just ask you a big favor. So, I want to return a favor. I can only do what I can though. Oh, it doesn't have to be right now. Let me know when you think of something. There's no expiration date. Oh, okay, I got it. Why are you turning so red? Oh, are you thinking of that kind of stuff by any chance? Um, if you insist, I guess I'll have to consider it. No, I'm not! I mean, you'd actually think about it? And the later day, I was invited to Natsukawa's house. Thank you for inviting me. It's a little messy, but please make yourself at home. My siblings are home already. I'm home! Welcome, Homisaki. Wow, you brought your boyfriend? B what? You've got to be kidding. She really did bring her boyfriend. Finally, somebody's willing to take this clumsy sister of mine. You're cute, so I thought you'd be popular, but you had no hint of any interest in guys. No, 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 it's not like that. Dang, Tanaka isn't like that. That's rude to Tanaka. Well, you guys look sketchy. This is the first time that Misaki brought a guy home. I've invited Tanaka home as a chef. His cooking is unbelievably delicious. A chef? I thought it'd be quicker to have them actually taste my food, so I decided to start cooking. <laughs> I can't wait to see her brother and sister who are currently suspicious change their faces into smiles of happiness. Okay, please enjoy! Wow! What in the world is this? I've never had anything this yummy! You're amazing! It's really good! I can't believe it tastes so different with the same ingredients! <laughs> It's good as always. I'm so happy. I mean, he's really not your boyfriend. Then maybe I should date him. That way I can eat this delicious meal every day. Hey, you can't do that. I mean, I'll be happy if I can eat this every day, but there are some troubles and... <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Yuto, I hope you can stay good friends with Misaki in the future too. S sure. After having dinner at Natsukawa household, I headed home with Natsukawa who offered to take me halfway. Thank you so much for today. They looked really happy. Of course, I was happy too. I'm glad to hear that. I'm proud of myself as a chef in training. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you ever think about the favor we were talking about the other day? Hmm, can you wait a little more? Sure. I said there's no expiration date. You've been so good to me, but even without that, I want to do something for you. So, if there's anything you want me to do, Please let me know, okay? On a later day, somebody unexpected come to talk to me. Tanaka, can I talk to you? This girl, Mayumi Kurosaki, is a famous at school because she's the daughter of a company president. Usually, I shouldn't have any connection with her. You need to be my personal chef. I can pay you whatever. Huh? But instead, don't get involved with Misaki Natsukawa ever again. Then, starting from tonight, I'll have you make a meal for me. W what? Wait a minute. Why are you talking like I've accepted your request? Is declining my offer even an option? It's exactly the opposite. I don't have an option of not declining. And why are you bringing Natsukawa in this? That's... According to what Kurosaki said, it seems like Kurosaki is holding a grudge against Natsukawa. 
all the boys she came to like rejected her because they like Natsukawa. Plus, I heard Natsukawa is rejecting all of their confessions. Man, really? Who does she think she is? She's so poor. So, what do you think? I can really pay a good amount of money. <laughs> Ordinary people easily fall if I say that. Here, latch onto my offer with passion. Of course I'll decline. Uh, what? What I want isn't money. I just want to see Natsukawa smile when she eats my food. Plus, if I became a personal chef of someone who tries to wrong a person because of a hatred, then I would bring disgrace on my father. Uh, what the heck? You're so arrogant even though I'm being so polite. That's it. It's too late if you regret it later. Tanaka, um... <laughs> Natsukawa? Did you hear what I just said? Yes, I happened to pass by. Thank you. I was so happy. I was embarrassed too, though. <laughs> You've always helped me. That's not true. Your smile have saved me all the time. Nanaka. Well, you know the favor we were talking about the other day? I just decided it. I want you to continue letting me cook for you in the future for a long time. Huh? What? That's something I'd like to ask you. Is this a favor? I mean, um, does that mean... Like that? Yeah, it means something like that too. I like you, Natsukawa. Because you always seem to enjoy my food. Y yes Um, I like you too. 100 times more than you think. No, I like you 100 million times more. So, I hope we can stay together for a long time, Yuta. Since then, Misake and I have been spending happy days like in a dream. Recently, Misake says she wants to cook for me, so I've been teaching her how to cook. Misaki's brother and sister calling me a big brother and respect me, and I cook every day, thinking about Misaki.